Americans like to think that our food comes from a higher standard, given the fact that we are one of the most advanced and powerful countries in the world. Little do we know that many of our so-called higher quality food is actually banned from other countries in the world due to either unsafe farming practices and questionable ingredients. When was the last time you ate chicken? Well, the way many chickens are processed here in the U.S. is holding up a trade deal with Europe. What don't the Europeans like? The chlorine. This channel is all about covering toxic ingredients that are found in food and can potentially be harmful or have some kind of health side effects. It is our mission to inform our subscribers on what sketchy ingredients you might be putting into your body and allowing those you care about to consume. So Americans pay attention because in this video, we will be exposing foods that are banned in Europe and other countries but allowed for consumption in the USA by Americans. Before we go any further, I want to introduce something that we're doing new on this channel. We take great pride in answering every one of our viewers' comments, but if you'd like to have a personal shout out in one of our videos, consider doing a thanks comment, and we will read your valuable comment out loud personally on the next video so we can share your opinion with everyone in the community. Your contributions will support this channel and buy us a cup of coffee. All we ask is everyone to refrain from profanity and please be respectful. So let's get right into it. Number one, got milk? Well, in the European Union, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, and Japan, it will be illegal to use American milk. And why is that, you might think? It's because it's been banned in those countries. Milk in the U.S. contains a growth hormone known as RBGH, or also known as RBST, which is an artificial man-made growth hormone that is injected into cows to increase the milk production and has been approved for use by the FDA, as detailed on their website. However, studies have found that it might have potential health effects and possibly be carcinogenic, and that's why it's been banned from the other countries that we mentioned, unless the milk says organic or RBST and RBGH free. We've actually switched over to organic milk that shows clearly that the ingredients is just milk and none other. Number two, coffee mate. Okay, since we cannot use American milk since it's been banned in certain countries, well, how about some coffee mate creamers for your coffee? Well, Coffee Mate has also been banned in certain countries such as Norway, Denmark, Iceland, and Switzerland, and even Hungary. Listen, I am just as shocked as you as I personally have a Coffee Mate creamer sitting on my shelf. Coffee Mate uses hydrogenated soybean oils, which is considered trans fat. Trans fat has been linked to high cholesterol and heart disease, and we cover that more in depth in this video. But did you know some of the foods that you might be feeding your kids are banned in other countries? We may banned in Switzerland, Austria, Hungary, Iceland, Norway, and Denmark because of trans fats like partially hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oil. Coffee creamer. I was like, oh, oh no, because we, I mean, I would drink Flavor a gallon answers. of that a month. Yeah. Number three, American <laughs> chicken. Here's a fun fact for you. The USA is the second largest exporter of poultry meat in the world, second to Brazil, according to the USDA. However, our chicken has been banned from entry into the stores of the United Kingdom and the European Union. That's because American poultry are commonly chilled in baths that might contain chlorine, which is used to reduce diseases such as salmonella and other harmful bacteria. This practice has been banned in the UK and the European Union in the 1990s as they believe chlorine baths can be carcinogenic, according to an article by the NPR. They also find it disgusting as they believe it encourages unsanitary farming practices prior to the slaughter if chlorine is needed to cleanse the poultry. Is there chlorine in the chicken you eat? Most chickens are bathed in small amounts of it during processing to kill pathogens. Most U.S. poultry plants plunge freshly slaughtered birds into chilling baths. These baths often contain antimicrobial chemicals that can include chlorine. U.S. government regulators say this use of chlorine is safe and effective in poultry processing, but most European officials disagree. Number four, farmed salmon. Our America's favorite dish, and I speak for myself with this one. People are becoming more aware of staying away from diet heavy and red meats, so naturally people turn to salmon, which offers the healthy omega-3 fatty acids, protein, and is supposedly a healthy alternative to beef and pork. Or so we think it is. Then you should know that the same farm-raised salmon that makes their way to the dinner table has been banned from Australia and New Zealand. The farming practices for farmed salmon have been a topic of controversy as the farmed salmon are crammed in cages that are filled with parasites and disease, according to an article by Time. They are fed potentially dangerous chemicals, antibiotics, and a natural diet of grains. This diet leaves the farmed salmon to have a grayish color compared to their wild counterparts, which gets its pinkish red color that salmon is known for from natural carotenoids in their diet. 
In order to compensate for this, farm salmon are fed synthetic acetacetin, which is made from petrochemicals. Whether this is good for long-term consumption is questionable, but the fact that it's banned in other countries has to make you wonder. That's because these fish, all sterile females, are genetically engineered. 30 years ago, scientists spliced in a growth hormone gene from Pacific Chinook salmon, which are hardier, more voracious eaters. They also added a so-called promoter gene from ocean poutfish. The government is requiring it be labeled bioengineered, but critics say regulators didn't require the company to do enough research. They are concerned eating the fish might cause unforeseen consequences to human health. Number five, U.S. beef. So first it was the chicken, and now it's the cows. Seems like there's a pattern going on here, and if the meat is from the US, the rest of the world wants nothing to do with it. Don't expect to go to Europe and find American grown beef for sale at their local markets. In this video, we covered while hormones are not allowed to be used on chicken and veal, there's no such federal restrictions when it comes to US grown cattle. Because of this, in 1989, the European Union banned US beef that contained the artificial beef growth hormones from being imported and sold in Europe. Some American scientists have decided otherwise, that there is a risk. We have just published a report by nine scientists, five of them being European, four of them being American, from very prestigious American research institutes, saying that there is a risk. So at least we should try to have an assessment a common assessment of in how far this report will have to be taken into account by the policymakers. The European Commission Scientific Committee on the Veterinary Measures found that some of these synthetic growth hormones, such as trembolone acetate and serranol, have been found to potentially be carcinogenic and pose possible health risk. For us Americans who have no choice to consume homegrown beef, the best ways to avoid consuming beef that contains growth hormones is to look out for the USDA organic seal, which forbids the use of hormones to be used in the beef. Number six, bread. I was away in Paris recently and found their basic bread to be absolutely delicious when fresh out of the oven, but if I didn't finish the loaf right away, it became hard as a rock by evening. Big difference when it comes to American made breads, which stay soft for longer periods of time, and then it hit me, no pun intended. The ingredients in American breads must contain a lot more additives than the French bread. Now, according to this article from The Guardian, American-made breads might contain additives that are found in things like pesticides, petroleum products, and yoga mats. Some of these chemicals are used to make the bread rise and act such as a conditioner to keep the bread soft, which I brought up in the French bread comparison. One of these chemicals known as potassium bromate, which is a potent oxidizer, is used to make the bread rise and more elastic has been found to be harmful for consumption. Matter of fact, it's been linked to thyroid and kidney cancers in rodents. Because of this and other potentially harmful additives, American bread has been banned from countries such as China, Canada, India, Brazil, and the European Union. US food regulations have left American consumers exposed to chemicals and additives that have been banned in other countries. From baguettes to focaccia, Europe is famous for its bread. But one ingredient is missing. Potassium bromate is a suspected carcinogen that's banned for human consumption in Europe as well as China and India, but legal in the US. World of Foods and its ingredients can be shocking and an eye-opener for sure as you saw the ones in this video. Hopefully if you choose to continue eating these foods, the image of it will not be in your mind when taking a bite. If you'd like to see a part 2 of this video, let us know in the comment box below. Feel free to share this video as it will help our channel grow, donate any amount if you wish, subscribe and smash the like button. Until then, stay informed and Genius Tomato out.